In this video, we're going to be taking apart the Asus RT-AX82U wireless router. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. And if you need any tools, there are links in the description. We need to start off by placing the router on its back. On the back, there are five Phillips screws that need to be removed. Once those screws are removed, there are numerous catches along the edges of the back housing, which need to be popped off so the back housing can be separated from the top. You need to start off from the front section and pop off the catches and move your way around. Once you pop off the front catches, you need to pull out on the side flaps. So here's the top housing. And here's a look at some of the catches which are on the back part. In order to remove the two heat sinks, there are seven Phillips screws we need to remove. Now once the screws are removed, we can lift up and remove the heat sinks. Both heat sinks have thermal pads which sit on top of the processor and chip. At this point, there are four coaxial cables which lead to the antennas that need to be disconnected. Now there are four more Phillips screws that need to be removed that are holding down the main board. Once those screws are removed, we can lift up and remove the main board. Here's a better look at the board. There are numerous LEDs on the front, which light up the front of the router. There are also four LEDs on the side, which light up to show the status of the router. On the back, there's the reset and the WPS switch, followed by the WAN or WAN Ethernet input where your internet goes in as well as the four LAN ports or the Ethernet ports which give internet to each connected device. Moving on, there's a USB 3.2 port, the power switch, and the power jack on the corner. Here's another look with the shields removed. Now taking a look at the back side, there are five Phillips screws that need to be removed, which are holding out the back heat plate. Now the heat plate can be lifted up and removed. There are three thermal pads on the back of the heat plate, which help transfer heat. Here's a better look with the shield removed. Now it's time to put it back together. Once all five screws on the back are screwed back in, you're done. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.